Devin, over here. We're talking about rebooks. Well, hi, divers. This is Alec Pierce once again from Scuba 2000 with another tech tip. An idea that just might make your diving a little easier, more fun. In this particular case, maybe a little safer too. We're going to talk about the use of reef hooks. You've probably all seen and you've heard about reef hooks, but it's not often that you actually have a good reason to use a reef hook. We just came back from a dive a few minutes ago. Yes, I'm on the Solitude One right now in Palau. Came back from a fantastic dive in Blue Corner. And it was unbelievable, the sharks, the turtles, the manta rays, the hordes of fish. But we needed a reef hook. Without a reef hook, the dive would not only have been not possible, it might not have even been safe. So let me take a minute with you right now and tell you a bit about reef hooks. Maybe this information may have some value to you. First of all, let me show you a few different types of reef hooks. Because as you travel around and go to dive stores and ask people, you see different types. I've laid up a couple of different ones that we actually saw in use just a short while ago on this particular dive. Some reef hooks are a little bit odd to have two hooks, two hooks like this. Uh, it seemed to work pretty well, although it's actually a little bit harder to get those two hooks in behind a rock or in a little crevice. A more standard hook is just a single hook like this, relatively long, six to eight inches long, nice wide open, not sharp on the end, you're hooking, you're not trying to permanently catch the rock. And then a fairly heavy rope on it. Some of the hooks that we use today had a very thin rope, and the thin rope didn't work nearly as well. I'm going to show you in a minute just how the rope on there works. The thin rope's knotted up. So it needs to be a very thick rope. That's the right kind of hook. On the other end of the line, the line's about, depending on the dive and what you like yourself, anywhere from six to ten feet long. On the opposite end of the rope, there is a, another hook. This is a hook that attaches to your equipment, to you personally, and holds you in place. So the principle here, let me quickly explain at this point, is the hook is used to hook onto the reef somewhere, onto a rock. A little hole, a little crevice, hangs on firmly, and you attach this hook to your gear. We found today on this very stiff dive that we had here in Palau that we had to have a solid hooking place. We used the, the, the rings on our BCs. We also found today that you need to have that ring somewhere in the middle. Some of the divers took the two rings from the BCs, put them together, and hooked the two of them. That worked pretty well. If you hook just to one side, you find that you're in the current like this through the whole dive, not nearly as good. As you travel around, you'll find some other reef hooks that can come in pouches like this. The pouch attaches somewhere, and when you're ready to make it work, you simply pull on the hook, the hook comes out, and there's the string, the whole thing opens up. And that's a choice that you can make. Works quite well, keeps it nice and neat in the pouch. There's another style, almost exactly the same. The hook is in the pouch, this is attached to your gear, and, and you see this is a strap rather than a rope. So there's different ways of doing this, but I will tell you that the reef hook idea worked beautifully today. We had about a dozen divers who we'll strung along in a line. Each diver hooked onto the reef, and the sharks and the fish went by. It was one of the most exciting dives we've had here in Palau. One of the most exciting I've ever been on in all my years of scuba diving. I have an expert here, by the way, who is very experienced diving around the world, particularly here in Palau. And I watched her today while she used her reef hook. I want her to step on board and just a minute and show us how. We okay, divers, I'm back now, and I'm here with Amanda from the Solitude One in Palau. I watched Amanda, the uh, chief dive master here on the Solitude, and I was watching her pretty closely how she deployed her rebook. I mean, she is the expert. And then how she wrapped it back up. And I'm going to ask Amanda to show the divers around the world how she does it. So, Amanda, what we have right here is a good place. We're going to pretend this is a reef. So, how do you... Uh, Okay, that's pretty neat. She uses a carabiner. All right, that works really well. It's easy. Some of the clips are too hard to open and close. A carabiner is very easy. And you clip it onto your points of compensator. Is that correct? Yep, just All in right, the middle. All right, perfectly. And then you, you, now you find the place on the rig to hook it first, like so. Uh, that then will happen. You see? So now there she is. She hangs on. She can just let go. Then you also told us to put a bit of air in the BC, which was a great idea. A bit of air in the BC brings us up off the bottom. You're going to see a clip of us actually diving on the blue corner in just a few minutes, and you'll see what I mean. That was fantastic. Now, you know the hardest part for me? Getting that darn string back back up again. Can you show us how you do that, Jemai? No problem. Okay. So, I'll leave you hooked on. Okay, I'm hooked on. And this one's called a daisy chain. So, you just make a loop at the bottom and then thread. Wow, that's so smooth. Look at that. She does it so quickly. So the 10-foot rope becomes maybe a foot long, and that keeps you from getting all tangled up while you're swimming around. And then how do you keep and then that? We just clip the end oh. into the carabiner. Look at that. That's so simple. A hook, 
a clip at a piece of rope. That's all there is to it. And we're going to go to the clip of us diving on the blue corner in just a moment, and you'll see not only some of the exciting things that we saw, but you'll see how effective these great hooks are. exciting for you as it was for us. It was a great dive. Sharks? I don't know how many sharks we saw. We must have seen a hundred sharks. What do you think, Kevin? At least that many. Turtles. Schools of fish. And it was all made possible because we had a reef hook just like this. I hope this has been interesting that you've learned something that it makes your diving a bit easier, a bit more fun. Alec Pierce, Scuba 2000 Detectives. See you again soon.